Hi, welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for the week of January 1st to 7th, 2024. Please see the article that includes diagrams of the events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Brilliant Venus and Mercury are in the southeastern sky before sunrise. The morning star gleams brightly about 15 degrees above the horizon at one hour before daybreak. Quite simply, it is the bright star in the eastern sky before sunup. This morning the planet steps into Scorpius for four mornings, 0.9 degrees to the upper left of Graphias, meaning the crab, followed by an extended trek across Ophiuchus. Each morning the planet moves eastward compared to the starfield. Mercury brightens as it moves into the morning sky. On New Year's Day, the speedy planet is less than 20 degrees to the lower left of Venus and about 5 degrees above the horizon. First, find the planet with a binocular. Then look for it without the optical assist. On January 1st, Mercury is distinctly brighter than Antares, the scorpion's brightest star. By the 7th, only Venus is brighter. On this date, the Venus-Mercury gap is 13.5 degrees. Mercury's retrograde ends on January 2nd, and the planet resumes its eastward motion. Venus closes the gap to about 11 degrees at mid-month before Mercury picks up speed and races back into bright twilight. On January 1st and 2nd, Venus moves through a starfield that includes Graphias, Omega-1 Scorpii, and New Scorpii. Use a binocular to track the planet's movement. On the second morning, the planet is 0.6 degrees above New, a nice binocular view. On January 7th, the Moon enters the scene, over 15 degrees to the upper right of Venus. The next morning, Venus, Moon, and Antares fit tightly into a binocular field of view. This triad is not this close together until 2045. Take note of Venus and Mercury in the southeastern sky on the opening mornings of the new year. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.